what I've been struck by in the last 72 hours or so since this indictment came down was, uh, as usual, just the rush to defend Donald Trump and sort of treat him as a martyr among Republicans who know better. I mean, these are putative leaders of the party, the, you know, Kevin McCarthy's and even his rivals in the uh, presidential race, Ron DeSantis, Mike Pence, and go down the list. I mean, this is probably, what, the thousandth uh, potential off-ramp they could have used to maybe get some distance between him themselves and Donald Trump. But what's interesting also is that these are people who don't want him to be their nominee. And as, as long as they just say nothing and have this instinct to kowtow to him, um, he's only going to get stronger because, you know, just that's what the deference does. I mean, he has shown that he will thrive in any setting in which he is not being stopped in which and he will take what is given to him. And when people don't stop him, he just keeps going. And if you've sort of looked at this in the last few weeks, his poll numbers have only gotten stronger in comparison to DeSantis and others who are running against him. And, and look, it just seems like they're all rolling over again, which is kind of a redux of everything Republicans have done for the last six or seven years.